So you are wondering what kind of weapon should I be using on my Arlecchino? Well, I am here to answer that real quick for you. We're going to be using Hu Tao as an example here because both Pyro and Polar. And we've got one of the weapons on show right there. But first, I want to talk about the Crimson Moon's Emblems. Obviously, that's going to be the best in slot weapon for Arlecchino. That makes the most sense. It is her weapon after all. We're going to get a delicious crate as well as the subset of the bond to life mechanic uh, in there as well and you get additional you know damage bonus from it as well which is just so so nice but there is sort of a close second weirdly enough the primordial jade winged spear this is sort of like a budget version of that weapon and not only that but you also get a nice attack buff from this main uh or the affix right you get an attack percentage buff for a maximum of seven stacks at refinement rank one and you get additional damage dealt which is so so nice but this isn't the only weapon obviously that you could use for your Arlecchino. now for the five star ones that i do not have we're going to talk about staff of homa as well as staff of the scarlet sand staff of homa is actually going to be a pretty decent option it has attack bonus increase depending on your hp and it has a massive crit damage and it has a massive crit damage you know main set so it's definitely going to be a weapon that you can use easily and for the staff of the scarlet sands you're going to pretty much use it only for stat stick though you could get a nice juicy increase if you have elemental mastery as well on your Arlecchino. I doubt you're going to build that much elemental mastery unless you're going for a full elemental mastery build of course which in that case go all out it's going to be an okay weapon for her to use. There are some good four star options and a weirdly good enough three star option. The ones I would avoid is definitely Skyward Spine. I have one too many Skyward Spine. I've just been losing to Skyward Spine all the time and it's actually I'm actually, it's, it's just sad. I have no other base standard banner five star other than these. The four star weapons that I would sort of recommend that you guys sort of try to get, just use on her generally, is going to be Deathmatch as well as Black Cliff Pole. Both are very, very accessible, except Deathmatch is sort of, you know, it's behind a paywall. If you're definitely all free to play, you won't be able to get this weapon. So you will get a lot of benefits from this weapon if you do. Hack percentage buff, you get a defense percentage buff, not really that important. That might save you here and there. And another attack percentage increase uh, if there are fewer than two opponents nearby. So that's very, very cool. Now the Black Cliff Pole is not only a very aesthetically pleasing weapon for your Orlucino, but also you're going to get a nice attack percentage increase as well this is going to be a pretty good contender for one of the better four star weapons for her but the only problem would be you're going to need a lot of crit rate to balance this out definitely try to get a crit rate mask to go with this in any case are there on you know, other four star weapons that you could use definitely there is one of the pole arms the ballad of the fjord or something like that this one right um this could potentially be useful crit rate um, a decent amount of it too and you get elemental mastery in the uh, main stat thing here right and you get a lot of it 120 that's that's pretty good but you need three different elemental types in your party and usually you would sort of rock with you know two of the same elemental types aka pyro maybe you'd have bennett you get attack percentage increase and base attack that is the only negative side to this weapon so other than that are there any other weapons that you could use definitely you could potentially use lithic spear it has attack percentage and a crit rate increase in the main stat the only thing is you really need leeway characters so if you have Zhongli, sure that would work uh, you'd get at least one stack of this other than that you're not going to get much from this weapon uh, the dragon's bane could be a very good option for you if you want to use elemental mastery for vaporize for melt for whatever it is and you get a damage increase for hydra and pyro so you're going to benefit a lot from this definitely if you're going for sort of an elemental mastery build now for other weapons it's just sometimes you kind of need some sort of gimmick like healing like whatever it may be it's just not worth using other weapons for example this weapon you need to you need to be healed and arlecchino doesn't do that so this is pretty much a useless weapon for her other weapons other pull arms are just not there at the moment um the catch has energy recharge elemental burst and create increase but you're not, you're not very dependent on the burst 
kind of normal attacking more often. So you definitely need a crit or crit damage weapon or even attack percentage that could help you out. Um, a weapon to avoid is this one. HP percentage and a little bit of restoration to your energy. You won't benefit a lot from this. This is the Fontaine uh, craftable weapon. You're not going to benefit a lot from this. Now, I want to talk about a three-star weapon that is actually pretty good. We're talking about the White Tassel here. This is an excellent option. This is an excellent option. And I think if you don't have any of the other weapons I mentioned before, this is a decent pick because you get a normal attack damage increase upwards of 48% at the refinement rank five, which is easy to get. And you get a crit rate, you know, uh, main stat. The only problem with this weapon is the base attack is going to be pretty low since it is a three star weapon. Other than that, this is a pretty decent pick. And if I didn't have any of the other weapons I mentioned before, this would be pretty much in one of my top spaces. It has crit rate, it has the normal attack damage increase. It's going to do a lot for you. And it, it's going to work better than any of the other weapons we have so far. But yeah. Um, if you did play one of the events, I didn't really talk about any event weapons here, but I am going to do that now. If you played one of the events in the past, I'm not sure which event this was for, but this could actually be proving uh to be pretty useful it has attack percentage and it also gives you attack increase by 24 percent and element mastery increase by 96 for the five rank five this is actually pretty decent if you don't have you know crit rate crit damage one attack percentage is going to help you out pretty nicely i think the base attack of this weapon is pretty low though so that is the only unfortunate thing but other than that it's going to be pretty okay uh the other one yeah avoid this one sorry other than that, I think that is all of the weapons that I think she could utilize at this moment. Of course, in the future, we're going to see more pull arms that are going to be coming out left and right. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you got something out of this. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.